Hello everyone. Welcome back to our video class here at CSEC Math Tutor. In this lesson, we are looking at solving simultaneous equations using the substitution method. And for all objectives, we have a few things. One, to review simple transposition. This is important because it has a direct bearing on how we use the substitution method. We are going to use substitution techniques, that is replacing something with something else. And of course, we want to end up solving a pair of simultaneous equations using the substitution method. So let's um, get into this very, very quickly because this is important to our business of solving by substitution. First, we want to look at this equation. It's a very simple equation, solve x plus 3 equals 7. So we're asking ourselves what number plus 3 gives us 7. And by just thinking about it, then you would know that the number is 4. In solving it, though, we'd write um, x plus 3 equals 7. And as you know, subtracting 3 from both sides, we end up with 0 here and 7 minus 3 there. And of course, x is therefore equal to 7 take away 3. And that's the 4, which we confirmed was the solution 4 plus 3 equals 7. Now, this very technique can be used to solve more abstract equations where we have we don't have the many numbers and where our solution is not a number but an expression. So here we want to look at both a and b, solve or write in terms of x, x plus y equals 7. So using the same technique here, x plus y equals 7, we want to solve it for x or we want to make x the subject. Same idea, or oh, we want to write everything else in terms of x. And what did we do here in this question? We had an x, we had a plus 3. We wanted it, the x to be by itself, and what we did was remove the other things that were on that side of the equation so that the x could be by itself. In the same sense, x plus y is 7, and so what we want to do is to have the x by itself. So we're going to, because this is a plus y here, we're going to subtract y from both sides, and that would just give us x plus y minus y equals 7 minus y. And of course, that ends up being x is equal to 7 take away y. You don't always have to write this because we, you understand it in your head that when you subtract, it's going to be gone. So this is our answer here. Um, x plus y equals 7. And that results in x is equal to 7 take away y. Now let's look at the other one. Um, 2y minus x is equal to 5. 2y minus x is equal to 5. And this one can be solved just the same. We have a minus x here. And so what we can do is to add x to both sides. And so we can say, okay, 2y minus x plus x is equal to 5 plus x. When you add the x here, this, this one cancels out that one. We get a 0 here. So we have 2y is equal to x plus x. Five, and we can finish the question by saying having x plus 5 is equal to 2y. Then we can solve by saying x is equal to, five, to 2y take away 5. All right. So these simple equations give us a way to understand how to rewrite these equations. And we're going to be using this skill in a bit. Let's look at one more example. Let's say we have the equation 2x plus 3 is equal to 4, and we want to solve it for x. Then we're going to write it down, 2x plus 3 equals 4. And so because we want the 2x by itself, we want the x by itself, we want all of this there, so we're going to remove the 3. So we end up with 2x is equal to 4, take away 3. And then we want the x by itself. This is a multiplication. So we do the opposite of multiply, which is to divide. Therefore, we have 2x divided by 2x. I'm not, um, not divided by 2x, divided by 2. Um, because the, because the, um, I want, I want to show something here. I'm not going to work this out. I'm just, just going to leave it there. So we divide by 2. So 4 take away 3 is 1, but I'm not just going to leave it there for now. We'll see why in a moment. x is equal to 4 take away 3 over 2, which is simply saying 4 take away 3 is 1 over 2. All right. Now let's try the same thing on this. So we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 4. And we want to solve the very same thing for, for x. So 2x plus 
3y is equal to 4, and we want to solve it for x. No, because we don't want this here, we're going to remove it to the other side of the equation by subtracting 3y. We subtract because this is a plus here. So we have 2x is therefore equal to 4, take away 3y. Now at this point, what we did was just to sub, um, subtract the 3. And we subtracted the 3 there, and that's that. Now in this case, you could have said 4 take away 3 is 1 and jump straight to the 1. But in this case, we don't know what it is because it is an expression. And we do not know what the value of y is. But the idea is that first you subtract. Now the next thing is that we needed to divide by 2 here to get the x by itself. So what we're going to do is to go ahead and divide both sides by 2. So 4 minus 3y. And here we have x equals to 4 take away 3y over 2. So this is our answer here and this is our answer here. Now like I said before it's very very important that before you start using the substitution method to solve simultaneous equations there are um, that you understand these these basic basic things. Now, here's a list of what we need. If we are going to be using the substitution method, we need to know one. Um, pick the simplest equation to transpose because you will have to transpose one equation for either x or y, depending on which one is simpler. Second thing is that we need to substitute the results that we get into the other equation, then simplify and solve the resulting equation, and then once we find our value, we use that value to find the other value, whatever it is. Let's try it out. So here we have a simultaneous system. 3x plus y is equal to 2, and 4x plus 3y is equal to 3. Now, we will need to pick an equation that we can, um, that we can um, transpose easily. Looking at the two equations, this is the easier one. Easier because here we have 4x plus 3y equals 3. Here we have 3x plus y. So by simply subtracting 3x from both sides, we would have completed um, the, the transposition here. So let's write this in terms of, of y. Write in terms of y because it's the simplest thing to do. And we can simply say, given 3x plus y equal 2, then we can simply subtract the 3x there. And so y would be equal to 2 take away 3x. So we have a value, we have an expression that represents y. Now in this equation, we're going to substitute the um, y in this equation. Let's call this equation 1, equation 2. We have transposed equation 1. And now this is equation 2. We're going to substitute this result into equation 2 wherever we see y. So let's start here. 4x plus 3y. What is y equal to? y is equal to 2 take away 3x. So we're going to take the 2 take away 3x and drop it here, which is to say 2 take away 3x. So of course, you need a bracket because you're multiplying an expression, and that is equal to 3. Now let's try and simplify this and get a solution. So 3 times 2 here gives us 6. 3 times a minus 3 here gives us a minus 9x, and that is equal to 3. Now let's tidy this up. Because this is saying 4x minus 9x is equal to 3 here. This is a plus 6, so we subtract 6 there. So 4x minus 9x equal to this 3, subtract that 3. Um, notice that this 6 becomes minus 6 here because we are working on the other side of the equation. But the 4x and the 9x are on the same side. So this minus, sign, minus 9x does not change its sign at all. Now subtracting here, 4x take away 9x gives us negative 5x. And that gives us here, 3 take away 6 gives us negative 3. And so we have our value, x is going to be equal to, well, before we go to that, um, we have negative 5x equal negative 3, so we need to divide both sides by negative 5. And dividing here, we end up with x is equal to 3 over 5. Nice. Now that we've found an answer for x, remember it's a simultaneous equation, we're going to use this value now to find the value for y. Remember we had an expression, our expression said y is equal to 2 minus 3x. And so we can substitute this value here for x and say y is equal to 2, take away 3 times 3 over 5. 
and that means 2 minus 9 over 5. And of course, we can just um, simplify this. 5 to 10 minus 9 over 5. And that gives us 1 over 5. So this becomes the solution that we have here. For the, um, x is equal to 3 over 5. And y is equal to 1 over 5. Let's try that again on a different example. So here we have 4x minus 4y equal 2, and 7x plus 2y is equal to 17. Now you have to look at the equations and decide which one is simpler to transpose. Both of these have coefficients that are greater than 1. So whichever one you pick, you're going to have to do some substitution. I'm going to pick this one. I'll call this equation 1, equation 2. I'm going to pick this because this has a smaller number right here. And of course, um, when I substitute into the other equation, dividing by 2, it's going to simplify right here. So I'm going to write this one in terms of y. Uh, in terms of y, it doesn't matter which letter you choose. Um, you just pick one that looks easier to work out for you. So 7x plus 2y is equal to 17. I'm going to... Um, since I want the 2y by itself, I want to remove the 7x, it's positive. So my 2y is going to be equal to 17 um, minus 7x. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So dividing both sides by 2, I end up with y is equal to 17 minus 7x over 2. Now that I have that, I'm going to need to make a substitution. So I transpose the equation 2, therefore I'm going to substitute the results into equation 1. You know, once, you, once you make the, the, the substitution, you can't substitute it back into the same equation. You have to substitute it into the other equation. All right, let me use another color for that. So I have 4x minus 4y equal to 2, and I'm going to substitute this expression for y. So I'm going to have 4x minus 4 times all of this, which is 17, minus 7x over 2, and that is supposed to give me at the end 2. Now let me try and simplify that. 4x minus 2 into 4 here gives us a 2. So I'm going to multiply this bracket by 2. 2 times 17 is 34. Remember it's a negative 2. And negative 2 times negative 7 here gives us a positive 14. It's a positive 14x. And that is equal to 2. Now, um, notice that you have a 4x and a 14x here. So 4x plus 14, that's 18x uh, minus 34 equal to 2. So here we can finish this up by saying 18x is equal to 2 plus 34. This is a minus, so we add on that side. And therefore, we have 18x equal to 36. And so x is equal to 36 divided by 18, and that gives us 2. So that's our solution there. And know that we have the solution for x. We need to take this number and put it in this equation and work it out to get the value for y. So y is therefore going to be 17, looking at this, minus 7x, x is 2, all of that divided by 2. So 17 take away, 7 times 2 is 14, and 14, 17 take away 14, that, um, that leaves um, 3 over 2 or one and a half. So we have our values, x is equal to two, and y is equal to 1.5. And that's how we use the substitution method to solve simultaneous equations. First, let's back it up. So you need to pick the simplest equation to solve, to transpose for x or y. Once you do that, you substitute the results into the other equation. You solve the resulting equation, and the answer that you get, you use it to find whichever other value, x or y. Remember to practice this skill, to lock it in. And of course, you can find more practice material on the website at um, csecmathwitter.com. Look in the, in the textbook or look in the practice paper sections or, or um, past papers. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, 
to the channel, then please do. Thank you for your support as always, and thank you for watching.